so good day and this is our presentation it starts with our login form and in this login form you can see the username and the password and underneath the login button there's the forgot password and create an create an account link so these are for security purposes so for example if you put in uh an empty field or if you just press the login button without entering anything this appears the and then if you put in credentials without actually creating an account then this happens so in order for us to proceed with logging logging in we have to create an account first as you can see here are our necessary fields there's the name the age there's the email there's the contact number birth date and then username this is what we're gonna use for our login and there's the password and one for confirmation of password So after creating an account, we will be heading into the login form again. Then enter the account that you just created. And then after we're successfully logging in, you will be redirected into our next form. Also, as a security feature, I have also added the forgot button. So in this forgot button, you can see you can click this if you have uh, forgot your password and in order to change it you will need to fill up some fields and after filling up these fields and confirming your credibility or confirming your identity you will be able to change your password to a new to a new password so after that, proceeding into our next form. After a user login, the search page will appear on the search page. There's an input of style if men, women, or unisex. The only text the user will input in the text box is men, women, and unisex only. Then click the search button to display the product result for each style. The style will be combined with other brands, while the X button will delete the result. And then the menu is the menu form. In the menu form, we have three brands, the Codverse, Nike, and Under Armour. Every brand has a group and each product has its own ratio button, combo box for size, and numeric up and down for quantity with description and name of product, available size and their prices. When the user add a product, it will add in a list view like this, for example. And there you can see the added product. Before adding a product, the user should input all details of it or it will ask the user to input that. For example, I will not input any size for it, this product and the program will ask the user to enter a size. And then the user can remove product that they insert in the list view. But they should Select first the product so and then pressing the button. And the user can go to another form by pressing the checkout.
check out, you will see four columns that will consist of product, size, quantity, and amount. Your purchase item will be printed upon the checkout list with the total amount under. You can also go back to the third page or you can proceed to the next part to the mode of payment and shipping address. In the transaction form, the user can see their total amount that they need to pay. They can choose what method of payment that they are using. If the user selects the bank transfer, they will enter their bank account number in the text box below. If they prefer to use GCARS, they will enter their GCARS number at the text box. And lastly, if they prefer to pay, to pay in Maya, they will enter their Mayan number in the text box. In the amount tendered in text box, the user will input the amount tendered and in the text box below, the change will appear. When they click the done button, a message box will appear with the inputted info. As you can see at the right side of the form, the user will input their street, barangay, province, and postal code for shipping. For the last form of this program, it will be delivered to Rocker. It will display all the customer information like name, email address, and contact number from form sign up and also the address from transaction form. I would like to show you some features in sign up that did not mention earlier. We had a error provided added in the creating an account if i did not insert any in this information or this text text box this will appear an error that that asking the user for 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 inserting the fields Then, if the contact number is not 11 numbers or some, some text has a letter, this will appear. We will first insert some fields here. And there, a valid mobile number. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching.